Well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude news for Wednesday, August 5th. 2020, always delivering the latest in news and ideas and thoughts around how gratitude can impact your life personally and professionally, mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically. And here's some information I have for you today is you experience more positive emotions overall with gratitude. A famous 2002 study on gratitude by Robert Amons and his colleagues showed that regularly grateful people seem to have a host of more positive neurological traits overall. They were more empathetic, forgiving, helpful, and supportive than those who didn't engage in gratitude and also tend to experience positive emotion, emotions more often. Emmons and his colleagues believe that the mechanisms of gratitude depend on the prefrontal cortex, which is one of the places where we form our memories. It's been suggested that this means grateful people literally train their prefrontal cortex to retain positive information and reject negative stuff over their lives. The results, more happiness, more contentment. Sounds like a pretty decent deal to me. And one of the things that I mentioned a lot in conjunction with being grateful and training your mind is a gratitude journal. Here is the Brooker's Daily Gratitude Journal that I sell. And I think what's important about this is it's written in the very top left-hand corner. If you think about it, it's like a dream. If you talk about it, it inspires you. If you write about it, it empowers you. And there's something about writing. I am so grateful for my friend bringing me some soup when I didn't feel well, whatever it might be. But when you write in that journal every day and you can see that every single day I write in this because I know it's gonna improve my mood and help me to focus on what I have in my life as opposed to what I don't have to have in my life. And so often really what gratitude is all about is focusing on what you have versus what you don't have. So many people look at life as the glass half full and there's probably not a lot, not a lot you can do for those people except encourage them to try looking at it the other way and see if they see a difference. Gratitude turns what you have into enough. Try practicing gratitude, try a gratitude mindset, try an attitude of gratitude and maybe even try a gratitude journal. When you write it down, as I say, it empowers you and it plants it better in your brain. So that's the gratitude news for today. Keep working on it and getting better. I'm David George Brooks, that gratitude guy. Have a grateful day and remember, be grateful and never quit.